Graceful, elegant, powerful. An animal like the ostrich is a mechanical marvel. Despite weighing over 100 kilograms, ostriches can run at up to 55 kilometers through the savanna, or as seen here, through a laboratory. Unlike humans, birds fold their feet back while pulling their legs up towards their bodies. Why do animals do this? Why is this foot movement energy efficient when walking and running? And how can the structure of birds' legs with all their bones, muscles and tendons be transferred to walking robots? At the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems, scientists from the Dynamic Locomotion Research Group have constructed a robotic leg that is very energy efficient, like its natural model. And they called it BirdBot. BirdBot needs fewer motors than other walking robots and could be built a very large size. The research was published in the journal Science Robotics. Back to the real animal, birds fold their feet backward during the swing phase. Alexander batrich Purvitz, who is first author of the study and his team, attribute this movement to a mechanical coupling. The team believe that a network of muscles and tendons that span multiple joints enables this coupling, like a muscle-tendon cable pull. They built BirdBot with such a coupled mechanism. The foot has no motor, but a spring-tendon-equipped joint. The foot is mechanically coupled to the rest of the leg joints via cables made of tendons and pulleys. Only the hip joint has a motor, which swings the leg back and forth, as well as the knee joint to pull the knee up. The researchers let BirdBot walk on a treadmill and saw how the robot's foot folds back and forth as it walks. In the stance phase, on the other hand, the foot and leg joints need no motors at all. Forces here are supplied by a spring and the coordination comes from the multi-joint cable mechanisms. In the past, things worked differently. Previous robot motors had to work against the leg spring or a motor supplied torques to lift leg joints. In the swing phase, the leg had to be lifted to avoid colliding with the ground. The related energy input is now much lower. Overall, only a quarter of the energy is required compared to previous walking robots with parallel elastic leg springs. Now, theoretically, meter-high legs could be built for legged robots that carry loads of up to several tons and walk around with little power input. <laughs>